Hi, I'm Mary Gannon, Senior Editor with Design World. And I'm Lisa Itell of Design World. Today Mary and I are going to show you some wire rope isolators from ITT Anodyne. We cover ITT Anodyne hydraulic shock absorber technologies in a separate video. Vibrations damage machines and electronics, so designs often incorporate wire rope isolators, air springs, or elastomers. But elastomers only attenuate noise and vibration levels. Wire rope isolators do this and attenuate shock too. Standard wire rope isolators such as these from ITT Anodyne are made of stranded stainless steel cable that threads through aluminum alloy retaining bars. In some cases, the split bars clamp onto the cables. Corrosion resistant metal construction gives the isolators a design unaffected by temperature extremes, ozone, chemicals, oils, and abrasives. It's expensive to keep equipment perfectly balanced and it's inefficient to add braces. But adding wire rope isolators is cost effective and done up front, it protects machine welds and brackets from fatigue. Part of ITT's helical isolator design is a patented crimp pattern. An array of mounting options and sizes exist with versions to meet commercial, industrial, and defense, including MIL standards. The samples we have here from ITT Anodyne include both traditional bar and compact isolators, these square ones here. One benefit to the compact version is that they install with just a single point of attachment at the interface. That's right. ITT Anodyne offers through-hole, countersunk, and threaded bars for mounting. Its wire rope isolators come in two loop versions all the way to full loop numbers. Another option for high fatigue applications is a bell mouth, having mount bars with radii manufactured into the wire rope hole edges. One caveat, wire rope isolators exhibit nonlinear stiffness, so small deflections, usually associated with vibration isolation, induce different spring rates than large shock deflections. ITT Anodyne publishes average vibration stiffness and shock stiffness values. These values go into equations to predict system performance. Just remember that stiffness values are for full loop versions, and reduced loop versions have stiffnesses that are the unit standard stiffness times the ratio of actual loops to the standard number of full loops. Wire rope isolator selection is a three-step process. First, the designer defines the system into which the isolator is going by supported load, number of isolators to support the load, and whether the application will see just compression or rolling. Then the engineer defines the excitation and natural system frequencies and calculates maximum isolator stiffness. Here's a tip. Pick an isolator by comparing calculated values with technical data in tables for the target load axis. Remember that calculated static load per isolator can't exceed maximum static load, and isolator's vibration stiffness can't exceed its allowable maximum. The final step before contacting the manufacturer, is to ensure the isolator will protect against shock loads. Values here depend on allowable transmitted acceleration, maximum isolator stiffness, response deflection, and allowable deflection. For more information, visit anodyne.com or motioncontroltips.com. Thanks for watching.